Hello, you welcome to GSC 203, Philosophy and Logic. Today we're going to study Module 3, Unit 5, Language and its Functions. This study unit introduces you to the definition and function of language. It will also teach you some models of linguistic analysis, logic and language. Generally, you need to understand that the definition of logic as a science of laws of thought imply a mutual relationship between logic and language. This position is informed by the fact that processes of thought rely on logic to thrive and language, on the other hand, is better understood when logical processes are applied to remove ambiguity. Functions of language some of the uses of language, according to Wittgenstein, a philosopher of language, includes giving orders and obeying them. Other functions of language are informative function, expressive function, directive function. Mixed functions of language. This function of language is arrived at because it is observed that discourse can serve more than one function. In fact, most ordinary discourse are mixed and aside this, effective communication demand and are made possible by combinations of different functions of language. For instance, sermons may evoke feelings of awesomeness or admiration in the hearers thus serving the expressive function and may also include some information about historical events or other variable phenomena. An example of such sermon was Stephen's address before the Sanhedrin. You see that in the Bible in Acts of the Apostles chapter 7. Performative utterances. As the name suggests, performative utterances refer to language which performs the action it reports. It is a different form of function of language. In conclusion, from the study of the functions of language in this unit, the various functions of language seem to correlate with the different forms of language. It may therefore be somehow difficult to identify form with function in language. Thank you.